Sugar addiction is real. How do I know this? I'm a sugar addict. First, we're going to dig in to see what happens when you eat sugar and how it affects your brain. And then I'm going to give you some surefire ways to beat it. Over the past 11 years, I've been very lucky to host many experts on my Fitness Confidential podcast, such as Dr. David Perlmutter, who wrote the book Grain Brain, and also Dr. Drew Pinsky, who's an addiction specialist. The one thing I've learned from many of these specialists is that sugar is addictive. So let's start with the definition of sugar. What is it? Well, it's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. That's what makes up simple sugar. The only thing it does in the body is offer quick energy. It doesn't offer any nutritional value other than that. There are no vitamins, minerals, or enzymes in simple sugar. So how could something that tastes so good be so bad for us? I mean, after all, when I was a kid, every time I went to a birthday party, it was cake and ice cream. It's always a reward. And nowadays, a kid cannot kick a soccer ball down the field without someone shoving a cupcake with three inches of icing down their throat. So how could something so innocent be so sinister? Do we have to wait for sugar to actually hit our stomach or our gut or our liver in order for it to activate? No, not at all. Actually, when it hits the front of your tongue, that's where the sweet receptors are. We are already getting that message sent to the brain. It goes right to the cerebral cortex. This in turn activates our brain's reward center. The reward center of our brain is activated by things such as drugs, alcohol, and even love. So what happens in that pleasure center? Our brains release something called dopamine, and it elevates our mood. We simply feel better. Unfortunately, it's short-lived, which means if you want to keep that feeling going, you need more and more of the drug. And in this case, it's sugar, except this time it won't work exactly the same. You have to take in more sugar just to get the same feeling. Now it's really insidious because sugar also alters the inhibitory part of the brain, which means the more sugar you eat, the easier it becomes to make bad decisions. It reminds me of a country and western song by Joe Nichols called Tequila Mix or Clothes Fall Off. According to experts, sugar will prematurely age the brain, causing cognitive dysfunction, Alzheimer's, and dopamine deficiency. And before I move on, just a quick word about attention deficit disorder, ADD. Now, I'm no expert on this, but when you talk to doctors, they'll tell you it's hereditary and there's nothing you can do about it other than taking drugs that won't cure the problem. What they'll also tell you about ADD is that it's associated with a dopamine deficiency. Now, when I was young, I didn't know anyone with ADD. I'm sure they were around. Maybe they weren't diagnosed. But now it seems like everyone I know has either ADD or ADHD. And one of the main things that's increased over the last 40 years is sugar consumption. Now a quick word from the Sugar Association. They will tell you that sugar is fine in moderation. And that may be true if you're not addicted to it. But if you are, moderation won't work. Think about an alcoholic. You can't tell that person to drink in moderation. It just simply won't work. They will kill themselves drinking alcohol. The same thing can happen with sugar. They'll also tell you that sugar has everything to do with portion control. It's the same as moderation. Portion control, moderation, I'm not really seeing the difference. And if you think taking in different kinds of sugars is going to act any differently, it won't. Meaning brown sugar is no better than white sugar. Our brain sees it exactly the same. Taking in agave syrup or coconut sugar is no different. It's like telling an alcoholic, well, you like scotch, just move on to beer or wine. You'll be okay. It never works. And here's my favorite quote from the Sugar Association. They will tell you that sugar is the number one source of energy for the body. There is absolutely no truth behind the statement. In fact, fat is the number one source that our body needs and prefers to use. As a matter of fact, we can turn fat into ketones and run the body quite well. The Sugar Association did get one of them correctly. They said that your brain needs sugar, and they're absolutely correct. But consider this. Even if you took in zero sugars or carbohydrates of any sort, your body can make all of the sugar it needs from protein through a system called gluconeogenesis. So how are we going to beat this addiction? I have two ways that you can do it. The first you're not going to like very much. It's ripping that Band-Aid right off. Just go cold turkey. Cut all sugars and most of the carbohydrates out of your life. 
What that will do is cause your body to start making ketone bodies from your fat, and that will fuel your brain and your body. Now, the first two or three days, not easy. As a matter of fact, it's pretty difficult. But once you get past that, it becomes a lot easier for you to continue. For some people, that's just a no-go. It's a non-starter. So what I tell those folks to do is what I like to call the methadone clinic of giving up sugar. Use sugar alcohols. Use the quote-unquote fake sugars. I've done other videos where I've talked about how bad these things are, but if you're doing them for a short period just to bridge the gap between a high sugar diet and going off altogether, it's the better way to do it. And always set yourself up for success. Have some high fat snacks hanging around. Cheese comes to mind and raw nuts, especially high fat raw nuts like macadamia, pecans, walnuts, almonds. And what about things like avocados and olives? These are all high fat foods that have very low carbohydrates and it'll put you on a road to success. And last but not least, one of my favorite hacks, if you will, to stay off of sugar. I keep a jar of coconut oil on the counter. As a matter of fact, you might want to check out my video, Your Brain on Coconut Oil.